Hi, this is Astrid S and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Astrid S. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thanks for joining me. Of course. So we are here in Toronto and this is your first visit here. So how's everything been going? Yeah, it's been great. It's my first time ever in Canada. So uh, I'm very excited. I've heard a lot about it. Uh, and it reminds me a little bit, maybe not Toronto specifically, but when I googled Canada, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Norway. Does it? So um, it kind of feels like a second home. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Yeah. When you think of Canada, when you had googled it the first time, what comes to mind? Because I know a lot of people think polar bears or igloos. So what do yeah, you think Yeah, but it's the of? same with Norway. Uh, only thing I really knew was the, how the flag looked like, of course. And then that hockey is a big thing here. Um, so I... Uh, Stocked a little bit of uh, hockey players, <laughs> uh, and uh, I also I'm a big history geek, so I know a bit of uh, uh, Canadian history. How okay. how it was divided in Upper and Lower Canada, Look at and you. that actually there's a province here that only speaks French. I love history, so. <laughs> That's a super exciting day because party's over. You are sharing with fans. Yes. You must be so excited to finally be able to share this. Yeah, it's a year old. I checked my um, like the demo folder I have on my phone, and it's actually a year since it was recorded. Wow. So it's, um, yeah, finally it's out, <laughs> and people can listen to it. What can you tell us about the song? Why is the party over? Party's over is just a big metaphor for how something, it's kind of like bittersweet. Uh, it's not, yeah, it's just a metaphor for how something can be over and how it feels like you feel so nostalgic, but you're still in it. Um, so it could be like a relationship ending or graduating, how you like, it's supposed to be a big party, but then you have this bittersweet feeling of something being over, but it's still a new chapter. So it's just a me metaphor and I think anyone can relate to it in any way they want. Well, on the music front, as far as releases go, your debut EP has been out for a while, so I feel like Party's Over is a little taste as to what's to come, because you have another EP coming out. I'm very, very excited. A lot of the songs was written last year and a year ago, so uh, I'm, I really want to get it out. <laughs> I can yeah. tell from the way yeah. you're moving. You're, just, yeah. you're on the edge of your seat. Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> There's a breathe dance going around. Yeah, there is a breathe <laughs> dance, and people are people doing are amazing. It. Yeah, they are, and it's so much fun to watch, and it's I really love how... I'm not a dancer, but I love when people aren't dancers and they just give it they their all. For yeah, it. it's the most fun thing ever. What are some of your favorite dance moves? I really like the shuffle. Okay. It's just really simple. Um, or like, not like a dance move, but if I'm out with my friends, we'll, we'll usually just like vibe to it. Mm -hmm. We're not like doing like dance moves, but like <laughs> just vibing. Just a little bit of you know, yeah, the shoulders yeah. going. Or actually, you know what? That was just a joke. We're actually going crazy. I have been out in a while, but like, we don't do the, just the vibing. To be honest, we're like we're shuffling, we're headbanging. That took a turn. We're like jumping off the walls and like have guns and we like pretend to be and like we do a lot of crazy stuff. It's so not even dancing. I think it's called theater. As long as you're having fun. Yeah, that's all true. that really matters. True. Now, before you hit the stage, I read somewhere that you like to just to get all the anxiety out. You curse a little bit. You say I a couple do. of swear words. I do. <laughs> no, it like it relieves the pressure. So if I like, it's very spontaneous. I don't like do it um, necessarily on purpose. Mm -hmm. But I'll be walking back and forth, and I'll be like, hmm, 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 <laughs> and it. But it really helps. Uh, and I don't do it otherwise. But I feel like that's a good excuse. Have you been doing yeah. that since day one? Like, did it just come to you naturally? And you're like, I'm just gonna start. Yeah, I don't. I really, I don't know if I've done it always because I haven't thought about it. Only up until last year, when one of the guys in my band, they were like, "You do this every time. Do you realize <laughs> that you're like saying these things and mm -hmm. people are walking past us and they're like," <laughs> and I didn't realize. So, but now I know. I'm self-aware of it, <laughs> and um, I should probably find another habit. Are you swearing in Norwegian or English when you do that? Norwegian. Okay. Yeah, Norwegian. But some like some of the curse words are in English. Like we say the F word or we say the S word. Okay. Um, in English because of social media now and probably yeah, like we're watching TV series and movies a lot, so we're influenced by your language. Yeah. What is a Norwegian curse word that you could teach me along with your? Oh yeah. Okay. You, you can say this isn't that bad, so this is okay. Herregud. 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 I feel like I'm not hitting this. Okay, I'm gonna all. say it slower. Herregud. 
Heire gut. That was good. That, oh, that was I'm just gonna good. not even attempt it. And what's that? What's that kind of translate to? It's like, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, it's oh my god in Norwegian. Okay, I love how that sounds. Heire gut. Uh, I'm not even gonna attempt it anymore. I'm just gonna yeah. leave that to you. No, but it was actually a, a, a good. I am attempt. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a quick fire round with you, and you just say whatever comes okay. to mind okay, first. Okay. 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 You ready for this? Yeah, I think so. All right. What's the wallpaper on your phone? Myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's myself. It was a, like a bet with my friends. I'm sorry. It's myself. <laughs> <laughs> What's the photo? Is it's it you like, making a funny face or? Yeah, no, it's me with like uh, a kebab thing all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to change it. What's your favorite thing to snack on when on the road? Chocolate. If you could tour with anybody, who would that be? Weekend. Okay. And how about a collaboration? That would be great. I would love that. <laughs> and for the last one, if you could perform anywhere that you have yet to, where would that place be? In my hometown. I would love to perform in my hometown. That's sweet. Yeah. Well, going into this interview, before the camera started rolling, I was kind of telling you about how much I love your presence on social yeah, media. Yeah, I appreciate that. You're very welcome. That's the best compliment I can get. <laughs> But well, the thing that I enjoyed most was the recent sneeze photograph. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like many people would post that. It just kind of shows, like, this is me, this is the way I am, and I absolutely love that. You know, I'm very, very comfortable with myself and uh, who I am and what I look like. So uh, I think uh, I'm all, yeah, I'm all down with it, posting those kind of selfies or funny pictures. Um, and I, I think I would post exact the same things as I do now if I had only like my friends following, mm -hmm. which is a cool thing because I feel like people really know my humor and feel like they know me, and it's very nice to meet people and and they tell me they liked my sneeze picture or or that the, the sneeze picture made made them feel better. Mm -hmm. uh, that's even better. Well, another tweet that you sent out was, "I've never been to a wedding. Can someone please invite me to one?" And that was followed by about a billion exclamation points. Yeah, <laughs> you no, haven't been to one yet. I've never. No, I've never been to a wedding. I would love to go to a wedding. I love, like, I love love. I love people. I love weddings. I love peop the thought of weddings. I mean, I haven't been to a wedding, so I can't say that I love weddings. But I would just love to be there, eat food, eat cake, drink champagne, uh, cry a bit over the touching speeches, and, you know, just be like, ah, oh, love is so great. No, I haven't been to a wedding. I would love to go. So if anybody, any of your fans have anything coming up, be sure to tweet it her Please way. Please invite me and I'll bring a guitar and I'll play in your wedding. Ooh, I like or that. Or someone's wedding. <laughs> yeah. And the last tweet that I wanted to discuss is, It's Friday, I'm just going to make myself tacos and <laughs> eat it in bed while listening to Harry's album on repeat. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Do you like to cook? I love to cook. I cook all the time when I'm home. Um, yeah, I love, love, love to cook. It's very relaxing and I feel like I'm getting really good at cooking. So... Uh, yeah, I do that a lot. And awesome. and uh, with this particular tweet, I brought the food into my bedroom, laid in bed, and put on my uh, the album, and then I just laid down and I ate the tacos. <laughs> and it was one of the best Fridays I've had in a while. Awesome. Yeah. Let's well, wrap things up. Is there anything you would like to leave with all the fans that we were talking about earlier? Any parting words? Please post uh, a photo of you sneezing and tag me in the photo, and I'll like it. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining Thank me today. Thank you for doing this. It is my it was pleasure. Fun. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you.